Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It is May 9th, and I was just talking and talking and talking, and it wasn't even being recorded. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm just not awake yet or what. Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Uh, so what I was saying before, when I realized it wasn't being recorded, um, last night I was praying and meditating and I saw an image of the wheel of fortune. Um, however, on the wheel of fortune, uh, in the vision I saw, it wasn't actually the wheel. It was the game that was out about the eighties or nineties. It was a little circle. There was a little metal ball in it and it was like a maze. Each direction you went, if you went the wrong way, you would meet a wall and you'd have to backtrack and, and try to find the right route. And then I heard, this is life. So every time we make a free will choice um, and it leads to a blockage, this is an opportunity to learn and to grow. Um, but I also heard it gets easier. So once you awaken, you're less likely to um, make the wrong choice, to go down the wrong path because you're, um, you're so connected with the divine source of energy. So you have clarity. So you're using all of your senses and that's why it gets easier. So that's one thing. <laughs> all right, guys, let's check on uh, the current energy. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, please do. And if you're interested in uh, entering the drawing, we do have quite a few entries so far. So, oops, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, it's $20. You can enter as many times as you want, but you can only win once. Uh, the first prize is the anniversary ring, one-year anniversary ring. Uh, second is the reading. The third is my deck. Uh, just put in the comment in Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App that it's for the drawing, so I know, okay? Let's see. Sorry for the long intro. Current situation for the collective. Current situation. Learning something new, making a new investment. Page of Pentacles. This is awesome. This is exciting. This is a fresh new start. This is taking a risk and putting yourself out there to either learn new things or invest in new things. The challenge. What's the challenge for the collective? Somebody could be challenged by your transformation. The old version of you does not exist any longer. Uh, you've left the building because you have learned massive lessons You've gone through huge karmic cycles, and so you are no longer the same person. You no longer resonate with the energy you used to be in. You no longer resonate with people you used to connect with. And that's what happens when you awaken. The focus. It's the focus. King of Swords. Now, this can be someone that's in your energy or um, someone that you're connecting with. A Libra Gemini Aquarius or someone that uh, operates in honor and integrity. But this can also represent somebody wanting to come forward and speak truth to you. We'll see when we clarify. All right. Let's look at past energy. Past energy. Truth and only truth for the collective. In the past, uh, there was a decision. So we see a king of cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There was a decision that was made in the past. Now, this doesn't have to be a long time ago. This could have been recent past. Um, someone could have come into your life and you needed to make a choice, okay? You needed to overcome your fear uh, in regards to love, trusting, you know? And the other thing that has been on placed on my heart, you know, they don't want you to be afraid of love. If you need to know what real love looks like, what healthy love looks like. The Bible tells you everything. You know, I, it's in Psalm. I can't remember which Psalm it is. It's a very popular Psalm. It talks about what love is. So you can read that Psalm. And if you're in a relationship and any of those things are missing, uh, you're not in the right relationship. Okay. So let's see your strength, strength. Woo. Standing up for yourself. You have been through a lot. You've been this wounded warrior, but you haven't given, given up. You've been fighting. You're committed and you're devoted and you are protecting what you know is right for you. And that's a strength for you. You don't fold easy. 
you don't give up on yourself, right? You just surrender it. You stand up for yourself when you need to and you surrender the rest to God. All right, near future. You have a passionate new beginning, a new start, a gift and blessing from God. This is beautiful. Ace of Wands. This can be career finance. This can be love. It's a passionate new beginning for you. It says an amazing opportunity. All right, advice for the collective. Walk away from anything that doesn't serve you. People, places, or things. It's time to leave it in the past. You have some place to be. And it's not in your current energy connecting to people that are low vibrational. And the environment, please. In the environment, people can see. Not only are you standing your ground, but you are protected. You're protected. Hopes and fears. Somebody's afraid you're going to speak your truth. You're going to speak your mind and you're going to cut them off. They know that you operate in honesty, loyalty, and integrity. And I see a match on the board here. King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. So we'll see what that's about. Potential outcome, please. Potential outcome. Somebody's feeling like they missed an opportunity. They're feeling bored, discontent, dissatisfied, unhappy with the choices they've made. That's not you. Bottom of the deck, eight of wands. Somebody wants to communicate. They're trying to find strength to communicate. Yeah, they want to plant new seeds with you. They're trying to manifest you. Yes, I know you guys aren't interested before you get upset. I know. Trust me, I do. All right. Uh, let me see. Oops, oops, oops. Let's get another deck. Let's do the Rider weight. And you guys, I have been trying to... Um, respond to your messages and i apologize i have just had so much on my plate uh cleaning purging everything so just be patient with me guys i just have a lot on my plate right now i love you and i appreciate all your comments your love your support your donations i appreciate you so much all right let's see also you guys if you're interested in scheduling a private reading i'm only accepting 10 a week um, also, if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodibity. You can find the link of the bi in the bio of TikTok description of YouTube for both. All right, guys. Page of Pentacles. Current situation. Page of Pentacles. That was way too many spirit. Can you just give me one Page of Pentacles? A choice. You're making a decision. This is a new investment. This could be a new investment in love. This can be a new investment in career. This is a contract. So you're making a choice and you're making a new investment. That's beautiful. Uh, the challenge, someone's challenged by the transformation you've gone through. You are no longer who you used to be. Yeah. Wow. This is also someone that's seeing through your transformation. Um, you're calling in a stable union or you are in this stable energy, the four of wands. You are this star. And whoever is challenged, they know that they are blocked from your energy. They could also be confused how this happened. I also feel like this is someone that doesn't know God. So because if you know God, you would understand how it would happen. But I, I get the, uh, the feeling this person does not know God. They have no relationship with God or they have no faith. All right, let's see. In the focus, who's this King of Swords, please, in the focus? Who's this King of Swords? Yeah, I feel like this is a past partner to you. Um, I do because this person has made a decision. They want to come forward and speak some sort of truth. They could have been waiting for the right time, but they feel stuck. They want to collaborate with you, but they're feeling really stuck in whatever they're in. They're becoming more enlightened. And uh, now they want to co-create with you. They want to work with you. But the bottom of the deck, you're the queen of swords. You're not interested. You're not interested. All right. The past can't cups two of wands. You had to make a decision. This was good news. Now, take the parts that resonate. For some of you, you haven't met this king of cups uh, recently. So, whatever, whoever this applies for, a king of cups came in your energy and you were very leery. But you did make the decision. 
and you recognized that this was good news. This was something that was worth um, exploring. It's leading to the Ten of Cups, this choice you made uh, in regards to this King of Cups. Now, this can also be work. It can be it can be anything to you. It could be work. It could be love. It brings an emotional fulfillment. So if this is a career opportunity, um, you did make the choice to invest in it, and it's bringing in a lot of happiness. If it's love, same thing. Uh, your strength is standing up for yourself, being committed and devoted, being that wounded warrior but not giving up and not playing the victim. You're not a victim. You went through an experience that was painful and you learned from it. And now you're moving on. Yeah, that's a strength. You learned the lesson. And in learning the lesson, you close the cycle. It's over. Near future, um, sorry, near future Ace of Wands. Please clarify the Ace of Wands in the near future. Ace of Wands. A gift and blessing from God. A gift and blessing from God. This Ace of Wands, for some of you, can represent a marriage with this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For others, this, you know, like I said, it can be business, but for many of you, I feel like this is love. That's beautiful. In the near future, I see a marriage, a commitment. It's a blessing from God. All right, the advice, Eight of Cups, walk away from what doesn't serve you. You know... If it's, if it's not worth fighting for. If I have a swords, you know, these are people that want to play mind games. If people come into your life or even people from the past and they're still train, trying to play mind games with you, the divine is saying you need to walk away. This, life is not a game. It's not a game. And we don't have time to play games like this. So the divine is saying no. If somebody's coming in, telling half-truths, partial truths, uh, trying to manipulate you, um, no. No. You need to walk away. Take a brand new leap of faith. Move in a new direction. In the environment, seven of wands, you're protected. You're setting your boundaries and you are protected. In the environment. <laughs> and people in the environment can see that you are moving on. You're moving on to victory. That you're being spiritually guided. That's how people see you in the environment. They can also see that you love yourself. That you're highly intuitive. That you set boundaries with people. Hopes and fears. Someone's afraid that you're going to speak your truth. You're going to tell them how it is and you're going to cut them out. Queen of Swords. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Yeah. You know, someone is afraid because they know they did you un unjustly. They know you know the truth. They know that they deserve. They deserve your, I don't want to say tirade because we don't do that. They deserve your truth. Because they know that they deceived you. And they know that this is justice. If you, you know, let them have it and you tell them the truth and you cut them out, they deserve it. And this is what they're afraid of. Due to their deception and lies, you're going to speak the truth, you're cutting them out and it's justice. They're afraid of justice, afraid of karma. All right, potential outcome. We see this person, four of cups, sitting in sorrow, unhappy. They missed an opportunity with you. Someone was fed some bait and they took the bait. Dark energy fed them the bait. Yeah. They can also see that you are strong. You are in your full power. You are this empress energy. High vibrational divine femme. That you have so much strength. You're very creative. You're loving. You're nurturing. Abundant. Magnetic. And a master manifester. And that's the truth. You have a victory here, and this person is tormented. All right. Like I said, somebody wants to communicate. Maybe they want to come in and communicate some truths. But use your discernment because not everyone is going to speak the full truth. And an omission is a lie just the same, you know? Somebody comes in and says, you know, X, Y, Z, and you know it was not that way. Or they only tell you a part of the truth that you already know. No. They need to go. Let's do some, some letters and signs. What is this reading about? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. What is this reading about, please?
D on the bottom of the deck. And they were singing that song, Love Will Find A Way. I'll have to look up those words. I don't even know who sings that. All right, we got P, N, X, P and X, T, Y. Somebody could go by the initials or the nickname Ty, J, Taurus, Aries, B, C, I, and G. Let's see what we get. Man, somebody has, this has come out a couple times. Someone is lying about their sexuality. They're actually gay pretending to be straight, which whatever is fine, but don't deceive people by your sexual orientation, pretending to like women when you really like men. That's, that's where I have a problem. You know, I accept all people as they are. I love all people, but I don't have any respect for someone that is, you know, denying who they are. Uh, somebody could be drinking gin, G-I-N. Uh, somebody's nickname could be gin, G-I-N. Somebody gabs. Somebody likes to talk. There's a lot of gossip. Somebody likes has the gift to gab. They like to talk. They like to create drama. Somebody's last name could be day or the daytime could be significant. Somebody uh, could be worried about tax fraud. I heard tax fraud, T-A-X. Um, somebody, somebody's name could be Ben. I don't have the E, but I have B-I-N, and I did hear Ben, so. Um, Nat, N-A-T, somebody could go by the nickname Nat. G-I. So make it to be having gastrointestinal issues. Yeah, somebody could have cancer, CA. Somebody could live by the bay. Somebody could be a nurse practitioner. I have NP. Somebody tried to take a jab at you. But I don't think it worked. It backfired. Somebody could drive a cab. Bag. Hmm. Somebody feels like they've been jinxed. Jinx. They feel like... They have some sort of dark cloud over their head. Jinx. They feel like you've done something to them, but you haven't. We don't do negative things. We don't send bad energy. We do the direct opposite. Somebody is going to have to pay. Whatever they have stolen, if somebody stole something from you, they're going to have to pay you back. This could have to do with a court case. Also, I heard identity theft. ID. Somebody could have tried to take your identity, use your identity, forge a signature when it comes to a mortgage. I don't know why I'm getting that. Tennessee, Denver. Somebody's a bunch of gibberish. <laughs> J-I-B, jib. Gibberish. Oh, Pennsylvania. Dallas. D-I. D-I. Huh. Okay. 
All right, let's get some advice, and then we'll do another round, guys. All right. Truth and only truth of the collective. Truth and only truth of the collective. That's too many spirit. Can you give me one at a time, please? Write that book. Who has been wanting to write a book and has been procrastinating? Because this comes out constantly. The collective. Tell your story. Someone needs to hear it. They're saying, write the book. You know, you want to tell your story. They're saying, do it. This could lead to a new career for you. Write that book. Whoops, write that book. Tell your story. Someone needs to hear it. And this can lead to a new career. Yeah, it's time to let your light shine. Don't let fear of the unknown stop you. And an opportunity to relocate is coming. Awesome. All right, guys. Um, yeah, so like I said, be patient with me, guys. I'm doing my best to get all of my stuff done here at the house. And it, I'm, I move a little slower because I'm older now. So <laughs> it's not so easy. And also, you know, with my heart, I have to be careful not to overexert myself. So just be patient with me and give me time to get all this done. I do love and appreciate you though all right let's do another round here so uh current situation you're investing in something new this can be new love this could be a contract uh career and finance uh current situation current situation yeah the sun it it leads to happiness and success whatever it is you're investing in it leads to a lot of happiness and success so i say do it uh, the challenge, someone's challenged by your transformation. You either are calling in this twin flame soulmate union, a stable union, or this is your own stability. You're being seen as the star, and you're, you've blocked whoever this is. And this is a challenge. They can't reach your energy. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Lancy, but, bud, can you get out of there, honey? Come on. Mama can't put my legs in there, and you're making me hot. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lancy. Sorry, guys. He was right underneath and it's burning me up okay so um let's clarify the challenge challenge please yeah so who no lance go whoever's challenged by this <clears throat> your transformation either they have knowledge that a, a new opportunity is headed your way for more financial abundance or they are challenged because they see you as the gift and the blessing go lay down bud Go lay down, buddy. Go lay down. All right. The focus, this King of Swords, it feels to me like a past partner of yours because we have the King and the Queen of Swords. They made a decision. They're waiting for the right time. They've received some sort of enlightenment about you, and they want to collaborate with you. Three of Pentacles. Please clarify the focus. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, guys. I dropped it. <laughs> again oh my gosh queen of swords you're not interested in working with this person you see this person as a sly snake a fox someone that likes to manipulate you're like no i'm not interested okay in the past you had to make a decision about a king of cups um this is not going to resonate for everyone but if you've met your counterpart then this is someone you had to make a decision on because you were leery, you were afraid uh, to trust when it comes to love. But this ended up being good news for you because it's, it's led to the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, happy home, happy life, past energy. Past energy. Yeah, the world. This was a new cycle beginning for you. Recent past. I mean, you started a new cycle. That's beautiful. Your strength is standing up for yourself and closing out cycles. Your strength. Page of Wands. A new spark, a new inspiration came in for you. And you elevated. Empress energy, you elevated. You elevated. Divine Femme. Near future, uh, you have a passionate new beginning that's leading to possibly marriage here. Commitment, long term commitment. Near future. Ace of Wands and the Hierophant. Yeah. And someone tried to block it. 
or is trying to block it because this is near future. They don't want this family dynamic. They're doing everything in the near future to try and block it. To try to block... Uh, let's see. What is the Knight of Cups here? Yeah. This is somebody that wants to block it by coming in and giving you an offer. But you have shifted your consciousness. You see this person differently. You're moving on. You're making progress. You see this Knight of Cups that's trying to interfere with your union as the devil. Someone very dark, very low vibrational that's holding on to you, that's been in competition with you, that you walked away from. Yeah, you're like, no, nope, nope, nope. All right, uh, advice, walk away. There's people out here, if somebody's trying to play mind games, they're saying just walk away. Just walk away. Advice. Yeah, pour into your own cup with the Queen of Cups. Love your, you love yourself, protect your energy, and listen to your intuition. In the environment, people can see you are protecting yourself and the divine is protecting you. You're also being spiritually guided to move on to victory. Uh, in the environment, please. And somebody, it, people in the environment can also see someone is feeling abandoned or rejected. This is someone, page of swords on the fence that that slandered you, that spied on you, that tried to do everything to destroy you, and people in the environment are starting to see this person for who they are. That's what I'm getting. Hopes and fear. Someone's afraid that you're going to speak your mind. You're basically going to tell them off, and you're going to cut them out. They're afraid because they know there was a lot of deception, and they know that you are justified in doing this because they deserve it. Hopes and fears. Yeah, Ten of Cups. You were their Ten of Cups. They've lost their Ten of Cups. They threw away their Ten of Cups. It wasn't lost. It was thrown away. And because of this, justice twice here. This is justice. For you to, to reject them, for you to speak your mind and to cut them out is justice. Because they threw away their family. They threw away a loving environment, a loving home. Um, potential outcome, this person is sad, depressed, bored, feeling like they made the wrong up. Um, decision missed an opportunity with you and they see you are in your full power that you are this empress potential outcome yeah and that you're staying private you are this hermit you know the truth you're having a victory with a king of cups a new suitor someone that is worthy of your time your attention and your energy someone that has emotional maturity Someone that love you the way you deserve to be loved. This is a match to you, by the way. All right, let's just get some more. Well, so high priestess to the king of wands. There could also be a king of wands coming into your energy. This is someone that's very passionate for you. Um, so they could have fire energy. They could have water energy in their chart. But this is someone that is going to resonate with you. This is someone that's going to be very passionate about you. And this is someone that's going to see you as the star. They're going to see you as someone that, that's a healer, that carries the light of God. And then I have the King of Swords here who's upset because you're taking a brand new leap of faith and they're in heartbreak. So your past person knows that you're connecting with someone new, someone that's very passionate, that's accepting of who you are, what your gifts and talents are. Not only are they passionate for you, but they're emotionally available to you. Um, they're also very intuitive themselves. So whoever this past person is, they want to have a new beginning, but they know that you are moving in a new direction and they're heartbroken. Um, they want you to continue to operate in this love energy, Ace of Cups, because you attract what you are, you know? If you're angry, if you're bitter, you're going to attract people that are angry and bitter, you know? Yeah. You know, this person with the Magician to the Four of Cups, they're, they engaged in a lot of manipulation when it came to your relationship, mind games, and now they've only cause their own heartbreak, disappointment, sadness. You know, there could have been a third party involved. 
three of cups on the bottom of the deck. They're regretting it. They're regretting it because you don't want them. Yeah, you'd rather be alone. Nine of Pentacles, you've done things on your own. You know, this person probably thought you would never be anything. You would never be able to get out of the, the mess they put you in. But you did. And you came out stronger, more confident, financially secure. And the spiritual realm is guiding you toward victory. Yeah, it's beautiful. You deserve this win. Ugh. Of course it flew across the room. Hold on, guys. Let's see. Knight of Swords on the fence here, or sorry, Knight of Swords in the reverse. This is someone that took um, quick action, but it was not, uh, they didn't think it out. This is somebody that takes impulsive action and they don't think. Um, they're blocked by their deception, cheating, lying, stealing. It's being exposed, and you are this wounded warrior, right? Whatever they did to you in this Knight of Swords in reverse energy is being um, exposed. This is rude, insecure, hurtful, sarcastic, impulsive. They were a bully. They were out of control and they were a bully. And what's blocking them is they're being exposed for the coward that they are. They're a coward. And they're being exposed for all the lies that they did. Whatever they did to put you in the Wounded Warrior energy, it's coming out. Yeah, and then they're going to want to come in and make peace, make amends. It's okay. Forgive with love and compassion, but release this person. You have free will. You can do what you want to do, but I'm just telling you, the spiritual realm is saying you need to move on because real love is here, real divine love, someone that will treat you the way you deserve. Yeah, and the divine wants to restore balance and love. They want to restore this balance, but you have to do your part by walking away from toxic people low vibrational people yeah whoever this knight of wands is from your past they're going to go through the tower they're going to go through the tower and you're protected so they don't want you to worry that's why they want you to stay out of this person's energy yeah seven of wands keep your guard up this person's in a nightmare but this is a win for you six of wands this is victory, success, public recognition. You won. All right? All right, guys, this is your reading. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.